Even if the smartphone market here in the Philippines is so competitive, Infinix is still known by many consumers because of their consistent value for money releases. Now, they launch a new smartphone that is below 15,000 pesos, but more focused on photography this time. Hey guys, it's your Tag Girl Mary, and welcome back to our YouTube channel. Yes guys, Infinix is back, pero iba ang focus ng kanilang smartphone and this time. Medyo sanay ako guys na pag Infinix ang nire-review natin na smartphone brand. Typically, it's more focused on gaming with beautiful design for an affordable price point, of course. Before we talk anything else, syempre alam kong gusto niyong malaman magkano ang exact price nitong bago nilang smartphone. The Infinix Zero 30 5G is priced at 14,999 pesos. But as their online exclusive for sale, it will be priced at 13,999 pesos sa Lazada and TikTok Shop and 11,999 pesos naman sa Shopee. Alright, so kung nakafollow kayo sa TikTok ko, you guys already know that this is how the packaging looks like. Packaging-wise, parang akala ko nung una, wow, pink yung ating Infinix Zero 30. Pero no, ito lang talaga yung parang kulay niya. And aside doon sa kanyang 50 megapixels front camera, as you can see, it has a total of 21 gig of RAM. But to take note, it's 12 gig of RAM physical only. So, pwede lang natin siyang i-extend. Anyway, I'll be putting this aside dahil alam kong alam niyo na what's inside. And yes, here we have the phone itself. Alam niyo, grabe, ang ganda ng smartphone na to. I don't wanna overhype it, but for a smartphone below 15,000 pesos, it's very elegant. It has that sleek design that is also available in fantasy purple and yung golden hour na usually yung nakikita nyo sa iba pang tech reviewers. I think it's one of those smartphones na sa unang tingin pa lang will already catch your attention. It's also very thin and kung titignan nyo ng malapitan, it has that gold detail all around it. Unlike yung yellow colorway that has a Corning Gorilla Glass protection, ito since um, leather nga siya, syempre wala siya nun. It's really up to you guys kung gusto nyo glass back or yung ganito na vegan leather. Syempre ako dito ko. Since it doesn't smudge easily and this is a type of smartphone na parang hindi kailangan ng case. It also weighs at 289 grams lang. So yes, it is very compact and light. And in fairness naman, even though it's not at around 20,000 peso smartphone, it has that IP53 rating. Siguro, the only thing missing on this phone is the headphone na jack. Again, guys, typically, ano, yung mga smartphone above 20,000, medyo sanay na ako na wala siyang ganito. But for a smartphone price at this point, syempre kahit papano, hinahanap ko siya. Now, alam kong medyo na-impress na kayo dito sa Infinix Zero 30, pero ito na yung noteworthy or mas noteworthy pag-usapan dito. The device features a 108 megapixel Samsung Isocell HM6 primary camera. This also has an optical image stabilization. We also got a 13 megapixels ultra wide sensor and a 2 megapixels macro lens. On the front, there is a 50 megapixel Samsung Isocell JN1 sensor for that high resolution selfies. Yes, tama ang narinig nyo. It's a 50 megapixels front camera. Something that I did not expect at all on an Infinix phone. But hey, let's see of course kung maganda rin ba ang real world experience niya. Baka kasi numbers lang to. Unang-una, yung Infinix Zero 35G, it offers a variety of shooting modes that will cater to different photography needs. Katulad ng AI cam, 108 megapixels for that high reso shots. Portrait mode, super night mode, and yung professional mode. Even though wala tayong dedicated zoom lens, pwede nyo pa rin ma-achieve ang digital zoom of 0.6 and 3x using yung 108 megapixels module. When it comes to video recording, guys, the smartphone's rear camera's max reso is 4K at 60fps. And after capturing a few videos, guys, I have to say video quality-wise, it is impressive and free from noise. Pero syempre hindi maiiwasan, since we're shooting at 4K, medyo hindi siya ganun ka-stabilized. But, there is also an ultra-steady mode that will allow 
as to capture really steady videos at 1080p. Now, in terms of daylight or indoor lighting conditions, guys, yung primary camera really captures with good dynamic range and decent uh, detail retention. Overall, the image quality, I'm more than satisfied, especially for social media use. <laughs> Now, yung notable 50 megapixel selfie performance naman niya really excels in capturing high quality selfies, guys. The skin tones are very natural, and in addition, pwede pa tayong mag record with up to 4K at 60 FPS, resulting in mostly detailed footages and accompanied with excellent audio quality. In summary, for me, the camera performance is impressive. The phone is consistent when it comes to producing outstanding shots. This solidifies this phone's position as one of the best mid-range camera phone available in the market right now. Ngayon, kung na-impress kayo ng ganda ng design nito, baka ma-impress din kayo sa ganda ng display niya. Kung mapapansin nyo, it has that curved display with very minimal bezels on the side. It also gives or offers a more immersive visual experience. The maximum refresh rate of this device is 144Hz. It also has a layer of Corning Gorilla Glass. So kung hindi man tayo nakakuha ng glass back, at least merong additional protection yung ating display. And di lang yun, yung kanyang AMOLED panel really gives vivid and vibrant colors. And unlike other curved screen smartphones that is on the same price segment, itong Infinix Zero 3T 5G maintains consistent brightness, especially when watching movies or videos. And in addition to this, it also features a dual stereo speaker setup. And in fairness naman, the past few days, guys, it is very helpful. To be honest, marami ako na-review na smartphones recently that is priced higher. Ito yung mga smartphone 20,000 plus. And nagulat ako that this has stereo speaker setup. And yung ibang smartphone na nare-review natin doesn't even have this. Siyempre, hindi lang din dapat maganda lang yung display, but also can give us a good audio experience. <laughs> Now, in terms of the chipset that we have on the Infinix Zero 3T 5G, this is powered by the MediaTek Dimensity 8020. Sa pagkakaalam ko, this 8020 is just a refined version of the Dimensity 1100, which is introduced last year. Pero ang alam ko, it also retains the same internal configuration. But in terms of real-world usage, it was able to deliver a smooth and enjoyable user experience. Probably also because this phone boosts up to 12 gig of physical RAM and the 256 gig of UFS 3.1 internal storage, providing ample power for a variety of tasks. Though, do take note that this phone is not marketed as a gaming smartphone. But syempre, I still decided to put the processor to the test by playing some demanding games like Genshin and Asphalt 9. In fairness naman, gaming performance, I was a bit surprised. The phone was still able to run on the highest settings without that many issues. Although, it is worth noting that during prolonged gaming sessions, the device can experience throttling. It also boosts 5,000 mAh of battery capacity that easily lasted me for more than a day. What's even better is that it supports 68 watts fast charging and the 68 watts power brick din yung kasama sa loob ng box niya. So, there's no need na bumili pa ng fast charging power brake. Around 49 minutes or below 50 minutes lang yung charging time namin. And in terms of its user interface, I have to be honest, I love that Infinix has shifted away from their previous squared icons into a more modern curved design applications. Hindi lang yon yung animations also feel more polished and refined now. Pero hindi maiiwasan that you will still receive considerable amount of pre-installed bloatware upon opening the device. Nako-compromise lang talaga ito ng third-party applications like health apps, document scanner apps, and more. Buti na lang you have the option to disable most of these third-party applications as you wish. Ayun nga lang, the brand did not mention until when they will give us 
software updates. So, in conclusion, giving its competitive price point, my sentiments from the start will remain the same. It provides exceptional value for money. With its premium design, vibrant display, and a very capable camera setup, I do think this mid-range smartphone really stands out in the crowded market. But of course, there are still drawbacks like limited software support. But to me, the overall package is still impressive. So, for those seeking for a well-balanced phone below 15,000 pesos, this Infinix 035G should be in your radar. So yes, that's basically it, guys. Sana marami kayong natutunan for today's review. Wow, parang teacher lang. <laughs> Kailangan marami kayong matututunan. So yeah, again, it's your Tech Girl Mary, and see you on our next video. Bye, guys!